This hearing will continue our committee's efforts to ensure the recommendations made after the attacks in Benghazi are actually implemented. And I will pledge again, a process worthy of the memory of the four who were killed and worthy of the respect of our fellow citizens. But I also pledge that we're going to keep asking questions until we have a complete understanding of what happened. I do not think we should move on until there is a complete understanding of how the security environment described by our own government and court documents was allowed to exist. We appreciate that the Chairman has decided to use this hearing to focus on constructive reform instead of retreading the same ground that other committees have already investigated, investigated in a way that perhaps one would uh, investigate something if they were looking at it under high-powered microscope. We urge him to keep his focus on these constructive efforts and not be lured off this path bipartisan politics. Sir, I think the ARB points out that there were mistakes made. Mr. Stark. I think it's very obvious that we had a tragedy that occurred, and I am not denying that a tragedy occurred. None what of I'm saying that. is that We're I think we had to learn to from that lesson. I am not the witness to tell you what happened. You're the State Department the representative here at the he hearing on the Select Committee. I am here to find discuss, out what happened. I am Most here to discuss the things why we were there that in the first we have place. put in place since the ARB and what we are doing to protect our people now. Let me ask you another thing here. 